Okay, so you've decided to give this content strategy, aka making videos or writing a weekly blog a go. Now you wanna know, how long does it take before you start seeing results? In this week's 5-Minute Marketing Friday, we're gonna find out, so stay tuned. Welcome back, I'm Jeff Harrison and this is the 5-Minute Marketing Friday. In today's video, we're gonna answer the question, how long does it take to begin seeing results from the work you're putting into your content marketing efforts? The answer can be almost immediately to, it takes a while. Okay, that's it, I'll see you next week. Seriously though, as I mentioned in a previous video, there is this thing called a customer journey and it can vary. To watch this video, just click on the link in the description below. If you're selling a lower priced item or necessity, it can be one, maybe two contacts. But if you're like many, your products or services need a little bit more time to percolate with the prospects as they do their research. Imagine you're considering replacing your heating or air conditioner. And for our example, it's not broken down, but you know within the next six months, you'd like or need to replace it. In this time period, what would you do? Would you begin looking at brands first? Or would you compare what you currently have as far as size and if the one you have is doing a job, begin shopping on the internet to see the prices. Let's say you've done the latter and you need a certain tonnage. The next step would be begin uh, seeing what brands make the size you need, right? Once you see there are two to three brands that make your size, what would you do next? Would you compare prices? Or would you begin to see who the dealers are in your area carrying the brands and sizes you need? Now, let's stop here for a second. Up until now, has your prospect had to make any contact with you? Do you even know who this specific prospect is? Of course you don't, unless you're involved when you make your content at providing them the solutions they need to make a decision. I know you're thinking, yeah, but Jeff, how do I do that? Let's back up for a second. What was the first step this person took when they began their research? What size unit do I need? Could you have created a piece of content teaching them how to determine what size unit they need for their home that will be the most efficient? Maybe a title like the five key elements to determine the size of heating and air conditioning unit you need to replace your old one. I mean, hello, isn't that what your ideal prospect is asking? And then at the bottom of the same article, have a link that allows them to tap in a few items, like the size of their home, how many bedrooms, and is a unit on the roof or on the ground, and their zip code. And after they enter this information, you simply email them the size they need and the manufacturer that produces them in their area. In this email, you would include efficiency ratings for each. Maybe do a side-by-side -side comparison of the three or four models. I mean, wouldn't you want this if you were researching? And then, because you know they are in the market and what they need, you can do a couple of things. Follow up with another email offering a free estimate, or maybe even a reason to buy. Due to the coronavirus, which has made it almost impossible to get parts, we are seeing a price increase of X percent. If they buy now, you're offering 18 months and no interest, no payment option. Whoa, let me pump the brakes a little bit. I'm getting a little excited. But really, this process could take one to two days, maybe a week. Here, though, is the coolest part. You created a single piece of content how many times? That's right, once. And how long did it work? Indefinitely. So back to the primary question. How long does it take to work this content marketing thing? In our example, which can be a $20,000 or more price point, it could be a couple of days. Now, here's the key takeaway for you. What is that entry point question for the product or service you provide? It could be many, depending on the lines you offer, right? Well, guess what? Every one of those should have their own entry question with the process like the one we created for our HVAC company in this example. Every one of you watching should be asking right now, 
What question will allow you to nurture your prospect through the journey and accelerate the process? This is what you should be asking and then go design it and keep making it better. Now, if you decide it's too hard and you, and you allow nature to take its course, please add time and no control to the equation. In wrapping up today's message, the journey has changed. And as I mentioned in an earlier episode, 82% of us do not want to talk to a salesperson until we've done our research and we are ready to buy. The business owner and entrepreneur of today and of the future control the journey by creating the content your prospects need to get them to say yes. The business owner and entrepreneur who choose not to be their own content marketing company or media company will have a very difficult time in the future if they have one at all. This is your choice. My name is Jeff Harrison. This is what we do for our clients at Swingpoint Media to help them grow. If you want help, my information's on the screen. Until next time, hey, have a great weekend.